today is Friday, which means tonight is Shabbat. No better way to spend our Friday afternoon than at the beach. And while there are closer beaches, I've decided maybe I'll take them to my childhood beach over in Netanya. So we're getting ready for a morning beach day before Shabbat. Of course, that means sandwiches, trina, cucumbers, and pastrami. The kids always tell me they're not hungry, but they're always very happy to have a sandwich. I mean, aren't we all? You have to do a million things? <laughs> Miko, did you fill up your water bottle? This is a great time of the year for water activities in Israel because it's so hot. And those who live here tell me it's actually cooled down a bit from the height of the summer heat. The beach we're going to is less than a half hour drive from our kibbutz. Okay. okay. I have to teach you something. Oh okay, guys. In today's video, we have... And since the beach parking lot is usually full as it was today, we had a long walk from the car down the cliff through walkways and stairs until we got down to the water. On the beach now we have to find a chair a place to put our stuff down and it's very difficult to find a place that's different from the rest so we'll all have to stick together I don't want the kids to get lost so much people. I know so many people because everyone goes to the beach on Fridays all right we got to stay near the lifeguard stand Beaches in Israel usually already have sunshades, chairs, and day beds laid out, but you have to pay to use one. Since I didn't bring cash, we had to pay with a credit card at the beach store. Of course, that meant ice cream for everyone, or ice popsicles. Lemon is among the most refreshing on a hot day like this. And the water in Israel in August is like a warm bath. There's nothing like a lazy beach day, jumping waves and searching for beach treasures. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool rock. What makes Netanya's sea line unique are the cliffs where the shore meets the beach. So clearly a lot of people had the same idea to go to the beach on Friday afternoon. Look at all these people here today. Oh. As the sun started to sink lower in the sky, beachgoers started to head home for Shabbat. We also packed up to go and took with us the rocks that Miko found but were too heavy for him to carry. Luckily, Axel agreed to carry those treasures for him in his backpack. Back up the long path to the car. All dressed up for Shabbat. Well, you're clean. Geffen's wearing a white shirt. I have a nice new dress on. I bought a couple of dresses before I left. Although, I'm sure this is considered Super fancy. Geffen's wearing a white shirt, a white camp quarantine shirt, and these guys are clean. That's pretty fancy. And back to my kibbutz family's house to kick off the weekend with a barbecue. Today is the last day before school starts. School starts tomorrow, and we are doing a little family trip, final family trip before school. We're gonna have the best day today. Israel has some amazing natural places to visit. We just have to make sure that they're not too far north because there's a war there. And there are certain places where we can and can't go. I believe this place is safe and we're gonna check it out. At almost every intersection in Israel these days, there are reminders that Israelis are at war and that there are hostages that need to be brought home. So we thought we were going to Ein Yehuda, but there was a gate and a weird non-path. So like, so we couldn't go there. It was closed off. So now we're taking a detour to go to a different beautiful oasis called Ganesh Lusha. We'll be there in 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, the kids can eat the lunches that we brought, eat in the car, have some lunch. And as soon as they finish snacking, we should be there. Ganesh Dosha, also known by its Arabic name Sahne, is a natural warm pool with All right, waterfall. testing. This is the first time using the new underwater camera. Uh, hopefully it works. 
The water here is said to be warm year-round. That's the derivative of the Arabic name of the park, which literally translates to hot pool. In Hebrew, the name Ganesh Losha means Garden of Three. It's named after three Jewish pioneers surveying the land in 1938 on behalf of the Jewish National Fund, who were killed when their car rode over a landmine. What's remarkable about this place is its beauty. The rocks, the water, the cliffs, and the waterfall make for a most picturesque setting in which to spend the day. And the more kids run, jump, and swim, the more tired they become later, which is excellent when you're still jet-lagged and trying to adjust to Israel time. Anyway, it was fantastic to spend the final day of summer break in this incredible paradise. I'm so thankful for these beautiful days and such fun, wonderful memories. I just figured out how to put my camera on front view. We're at Gan uh, Sachne. The kids are having a blast. I hope that the pictures come out okay because it's a brand new camera that I'm playing with. Nico, are you having fun? Look, you can see the front view. Are you having a good time? Yes. What do you like about it? I love that I love my Oh, I love you too. That makes it the best time ever. As the day went on, the kids got more courageous and jumped from higher rocks until we got reprimanded by the lifeguard. Fun adventures really do bond the family together and solidify the boys' relationship from brothers to friends. This is our last day before school starts. Axel, what are you looking forward to with school? To make new friends. Are you excited about starting your first day of school in Israel? Yeah. What do you expect that it's going to be like? It's going to be hard at the start, but I'm going to learn more Hebrew, and it's going to be fun. What if you don't understand what the teacher is saying to you at all? Then hopefully that maybe my friends could help me, or I'll just try to like understand. All right, tonight we have to go to bed early. <laughs> Geffen keeps spitting out the water. What are you doing, Geffen? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm very good. My nose Can you maybe not pour petal up your <laughs> nose? <laughs> Geffen, I mean, your first day of school in Israel starts tomorrow. What do you think? I'm, I'm excited. What do you think it's going to be like? I think it'll be like regular school, just in Hebrew. And how's your Hebrew? It's, um, okay. What are you most looking forward to? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh... uh I don't know, making new friends, I guess. Mika, school tomorrow! I know. You excited? I know. Yes. You like your teacher? Yeah. Okay, one final swim before the park closes. Stop at a supermarket for tomorrow's lunches, dinner at a restaurant along the way, and with that, our summer break is officially over.